Hi there, welcome or welcome back. This is Breathe and Budget. My name is Taryn. We talk about all things finance related on this channel, the zero-based budget method, cash envelopes, fund savings challenges, and pretty much anything that would impact our finances positively or negatively. So if any of that is of interest to you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, join our community here, and let's get into today's video. Let's get into today's cash stuffing. Um, so you're probably missing or not seeing the um, knitted binder cover I usually use. It's because I was washing it and it needs to dry. Um, so this is actually the binder that comes inside of it. So that's what we're using today. Um, let me go ahead, I need to just double check. I don't think I have anything in my wallet. I do have receipts, which I will scan into Fetch Rewards. Um, someone had asked me on another video about this sleeve. This is available in my Etsy shop as well as one that is an A7. It doesn't have stars the A7, but it has the glitter. It has the pouch here that I put my receipts in. It does have two pouches here. So normally I'll put like a teller slip, like a teller, um, the laminated one I make here. Um, but lately it's just been kind of empty except for just holding my receipts. Um, but I will scan those into Fetch Rewards. I don't think I have any cash here. No, I do not. Um, so if you're interested in using my referral code for Fetch Rewards, I'll put it up on the screen. But basically, it just gives you points for receipts that you scan. And you can convert those points into gift cards to various places. I like to use it for like Starbucks or Amazon um, to purchase those gift cards. So let's get into our check-in. See, so I have one in this um, binder as well because I love them, but this holds the cash breakdown, like the teller slip here. And then I have like a butterfly sticker um, on this side. So you could just do like whatever you want. This is also great for like, like people that are into planning and stuff. So let's go ahead and do our check-in. So for my personal spending, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Okay, so I did spend 15 and I have absolutely no idea what I spent that on. I don't know. It's totally not in my brain. So I'm going to go ahead and put that to the side because that's going to go to our savings challenges. And then let's see what my husband has left. 40. He has 40 left. So that's good. So he'll be rolling over some. And this is date night, and I actually will be filming a unstuffing, like paying myself back, because we did do some, uh, we did go and have dinner, so I need to pull from here, but we have 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 180, so I do need to pull from there. Sorry, my binder is sliding all over. That's why I like the knitted cover. <laughs> It's sturdy. Okay, so dining out, we have 80. And I think I need to pull from there. So this is the check-in, but I do need to pull. And then for nails, we had fully cash stuffed that for the first check of June. And we had put 270, we had five rollovers, so we had 275. And this is what we managed to roll over this time. So we have $55, which I think is really cool. Um, we both went with a simple, solid color this time. I did that in a darker color just because I knew I was going to be in the garden planting all of the starter plants that I had um, purchased. And I thought this color would be best, not like a light color that might get ruined. So in kids, we have 20, 30, 45. So we still have that 45. They keep trying to catch the ice cream truck, but they're always too late. Um, by the time they get out there, he's gone. Toiletries, we have 200, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 5, 96, 97, 98, 99, 300. Um, I think. I think I did purchase something. I really need to sit down, like I said, and like I said in my last video, filming those check-ins because it also will help me like remember um, 
like what I spent money on. Going through each transaction, transaction, like tracking your spending is super important. Household has one, 250, 270, 295, 296, 97, 98, 99, 300. Um, and we are going to be adding to miscellaneous today, but right now that has nothing in it. So let's go back to the beginning and let's get this cash stuffed. So let's see, for me, I just did five tens and five fives. So one, two, three, four, five. Some very crisp tens this time, which normally does not happen. And one, two, three, four, and not the best of fives. It's probably the best one there. Okay, so let's just make sure this should be 75, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 75. Perfect. Okay, so that'll go into my envelope. And then for him, we're going to go ahead and add the, you know, typical 520s. So let me grab some from here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I hope you guys are having um, a good, you had a good week and that your weekend was relaxing, that you did things that you love, that bring you joy, um, and I hope this next week does the same. If you've done anything special, like, because I know we're not in summer yet, that's not until the 22nd, I believe, of June, but if you've done anything special since potentially school has been out. Um, I know it's still in session for some people, but let me know. What have you guys been doing? Like, let me know in the comments. Okay, so for date night, we are adding a 20, and I just did a 20. So this should put us back to $200, but I'll have to pull some, so we'll see where we're at. Okay. Dining out, he's going to go ahead and get 75, and I just did three 20s, a 10, and a 5. Three 20s, a 10, and a 5, and since I know these are going to be spent, I want to get rid of this 10. It is like withering away. It's like really thin. Um, let's just make sure, 20, 40, 60, 75, yeah. So I know I'll spend it, so we'll put it in here. So now we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 40, 55, 155, and dining out. Okay. And then we're not adding to nails, but we are adding to kids. We needed to put 105 to make the 150 for the month. Um, so I just did three 20s. Three 20s. And I did four tens, one, two, three, four. Someone decided to write on that one. And then we did just one five. Okay, so this should, if we did this right, this should be 150. Okay, here we go, 20, 40, 60, 80, 110, 20, 30, 40, 5, 50, 150, perfect guys, perfect. So um, I am going to be working on my Etsy orders today, a couple things outside, but yesterday we, um, I said that I was going to let you guys know as we made decisions on our tax return because we had that sitting thinking we would need to replace our air conditioner but I did pull $1,200 and I had a gentleman come and he cleared the entire yard of all the weeds because we get the Russian nettle weeds like the really big tumbleweeds like no joke they get as they get taller than me um so he cleared the whole yard. He took a bunch of stuff that we had like trash in bulk including an old pool an old jacuzzi and um we all committed as a family that as we saw a weed come up, 
we would go out there, take care of it, and not let the guard get let the guard, not let the yard get overgrown again, like you know, we have. It's just you can go one day not seeing them, and the next day there's like huge bushes of weeds. It, it's so crazy how fast it happens. Um, but since like setting up the garden area and everything, like we want to enjoy outdoors without seeing all that. So um, I invested on like in our property essentially. And we also, um, my husband built a new like habitat for the red-eared slider turtles we have. And we moved the koi pond and the turtles outside versus in our garage. And we have it near the garden. Um, I'll post a picture so you guys can see. That area is so beautiful to me. It brings me such joy. I'm waking up earlier. I'm sitting outside with my coffee in that area, just listening to the sounds. Um, we saw a hummingbird and we see butterflies and bees and it's just so beautiful. So, you know, here's your PSA in this video. Yes, obviously you have to take care of your bills and maybe you're in the position where there's not enough money right now to do the things that you love. And that just means you may have to supplement your income. You may have to find other sources of income um, or reduce spending in other areas that you might be able to reduce spending, but absolutely spend money on things that bring you joy. Uh, there is no harm or, sh or shame in that you need to we are here in this life right now one time enjoy it and do the things that you love obviously while still being like responsible right um so we're gonna go ahead and add 50 to miscellaneous and i just did a 20 and three tens okay and basically what miscellaneous for me has became become is just if I go over in a category, like let's say I don't have enough in, you know, dining out or in kids, I might supplement, but also just for any like unexpected expenses that might come up. So that's what I use the miscellaneous for. Um, I never used to have a miscellaneous category because I felt I needed that money that I was allotting for it to go towards things I know I need. But no matter how much I kid myself, there was always something I didn't think about, like an expense that would come up. Um, so let's go ahead and we're going to move into high priority. Okay, so this is my high priority uh, sinking funds binder. And we do have it tapped off into three different categories. We have vehicle, home, and miscellaneous. Um, for me, these are things that I know without a doubt we will have to spend money on, whether it's like our insurance or, you know, warranties and stuff like that, um, maintenance to our house. These are things that I know we need to invest in, um, you know, and save money for. So what we're going to do today is we're going to hit some of these vehicle ones. So I know that we are going to do a hundred in vehicle registration. Um, and I just did a hundred dollar bill. We just paid all of our registrations, um, Can-Am and the two vehicles. And so now basically what I'm doing is I'm already saving and I, as you can see, I already have money saved for the next year. Um, in fact, I have some left over in our high yield savings account, but I took the placeholder out just because we purchased the vehicle registrations. So this is going to go towards the tags that would say 2026 because the ones that we just purchased right now say 2025. So we're gonna add 100 and that gives us 152 for right now. And basically I, I think in my brain, rounding up is always best just to have a little bit more. So it's like a thousand dollar goal. So that's pretty good. Vehicle maintenance is gonna get 200. We have a $2,000 goal here. Um, obviously that will, this will fluctuate. We're gonna spend some. You know and then have to replenish but let's see where we're at right now we have 500 600 700 800 we have 900 in the bank in a high yield savings account so we don't keep all the cash on us we do what we call a condensing so we condense the bills use placeholders and put that money in your high yield savings account to be able to earn interest um some people move the cash and put it in like a binder and then they keep it in their safe because they want the cash like on hand but for me I use Ally as my you know, primary savings account. I also have a checking account tied to it. So if I need to use that money, I just transfer from the savings account to the checking account and swipe the card, no big deal. And I can do easy Zelle transfers to myself from my Ally to my other bank, my primary bank. And it's just super simple, like easy peasy. Um, so let's go ahead and add the other 200. So we have 900, 1,000, 
1100, 1200, 1300. Oh, and this is prop money as well. This is what we have in the bake. So did I say 1300? Yes. Okay, uh, so 1344. So that's not too bad. Um, although I do know that my husband is gonna need tire soon. Um, I don't know. I don't know what his reason is for holding off. Like there's no danger to where they're at right now, but um, maybe he just doesn't feel like it's quite necessary. But I know that maybe anywhere from, I don't know, 800 to 1,000, potentially, I don't know, um, is gonna be gone for that once we have to make that purchase. All right, so roadside assistance is going to get 15. So I just did a 10 and a five. And we just paid this, so we won't have this due until May of next year. So we're just getting a jump start. It was 147. It was 144 the year before. This year it was 147. So it only went up by a few dollars. So what I'm gonna do is just estimate 150 for next year. So right now we have $30, um, which is not it's not bad considering we have um what 11 months to fully fund that. Perfect. All state insurance. Um, this is actually, I need to figure it out. It was like 968. So we had a thousand in the bank. Um, I didn't use all of this. I used that, I think it was 968. I'll put the amount on the screen. And that means that this placeholder is actually no longer going to exist. So I'm going to remove it for right now. And then what I'll do is figure out the difference and add, or I'm going to leave it for now. When I'm doing my cash condensing, I'll put new prop money that represents what we have in the high yield savings account. Um, and so we're going to add, uh, let's see, 70 to this right now. And I believe I just did a 50 and a 20. Okay. So I'm not going to count that thousand. I know I have some left over, but what I have in cash in here is 100, 250, 270, 290. Okay, so that's 290 going towards the next year's bill, which I'm gonna assume is like what nine, and let's just round up a little, like 975. So we're already making headway for the next cycle. So right now we're covered 2024 to 2025, and I'm already saving for 2025 to 2026. I always encourage people, if you can get a year ahead, like you should do it. Um, so this is the car insurance that we are purchasing, which we already purchased uh, through AAA for our daughter. So I need to take this money and put it back in the bank, which I'll do in the next video. And then we allotted 200 for this, but we're keeping that in the account. No need to pull that for cash since it's gonna be right back in the account to pay. Um, Cause I did charge a credit card for the initial like down payment because I wanted to earn that percentage back. And then I'm just taking this money and paying the card. So we're not putting anything into that right now. And then car detailing is going to get 20. And I believe we just did a 20. Okay, so in car detailing, we have 150, 170, 190, uh, 210, 230, 240, 250. So I think our rain is done. Um, so I'm thinking if in any day now, I could potentially schedule that uh, detail of my car. Toothless, um, which is what we called my husband's car, is going to get 20. So now we should have 100, 20, 40, 150. Um, this is just like miscellaneous things that he may want to do with uh, his vehicle. Um, and also for OnStar, because we pay for that annually. All right, we are going to move into our home section. And I'm only doing two of them with this check. And... That is trash and water. So we're gonna do 20 each. So let's go ahead and add that 20. So now in trash we have 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150. So it's like 156 every three months. So we're only like $6 away from even having the next um, bill due. So we're like two, possibly even one whole cycle, three months ahead. Water is gonna get 20 as well. And now in water we have 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 171, 172. This is more than enough for the next bill and like almost halfway for the one after that. And then I think that, oh no. 
yeah, we're gonna add um, to groceries. You'll see that I moved wellness. I put that into my low priority just because I had added a few categories to the binder and it was getting full. So moving it from like high priority to low priority in any does not change what I budget for it. Like it's not diminishing its um, importance. It is super important to me, um, but I make sure that it's in the budget. Like I know every month I'm gonna allot a certain amount towards it. Um, but groceries is gonna get 100, so I just did three 20s. And then I did four tens. And I use this to go to the farmer's market and it also if we go over in groceries. But I've been using it also for the farmer's market. 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, perfect. So let's see what we have. Okay, so now in grocery overage, we have 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 210, 20, 35. 235 perfect having 300 in here would you know is kind of the goal so once i get it to 300 um, i will add more for the anticipation of spending at the farmer's market but i would like to keep 300 in here as what i call like a buffer so that's it um, for this binder okay we're gonna go into the low priority sinking funds again does not mean that any of these are less important they just may not be something that's as pressing and it also might be things that i would stop contributing to if income reduced and i needed to so we have four categories in here memories kids us which is my husband and i and then annual um so we are going to go into and i think let me just do wellness first i put that in us i believe Yes. All right. So this um, pays for my yoga. And then if we do anything else, like any additions to the gym or anything that has to do with, you know, our own personal wellness, like if I wanted to purchase some type of like vitamin supplement or whatnot, I could pull it from here if it wasn't covered by our HSA. If it's covered by our HSA, that's where it gets pulled from. Um, so let's go ahead and add 80. So I just did four 20s. Okay, so $80, what that gets me is um, a five pack of yoga sessions. They're an hour and a half each, and this gets me five of those, which I think is a spectacular price. And um, our yoga lady, Jenny, is just super awesome, down to earth. Um, we have a little bit of like relaxation and rage yoga going on in there. It's a very like open space for us to um, use bad words if we want to, because some of the positions are difficult. They don't, you know it's not easy to hold those positions yoga looks so easy when you watch people do it but it's almost every muscle in your body and muscles you didn't even know you had they didn't exist like are working which is fabulous obviously so for vacations and seasons i did a hundred dollars um and i did three 20s we're going to figure out how we're going to like div divvy this up and then I did four tens. Okay. Let's make sure that's a hundred. 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Perfect. Okay. So this, let's see, we are in, we're finishing spring. We're headed into summer. Let's see, I'm gonna definitely put 40 to Let's Get Away, which is our vacation. So that'll put us at 40, 52. I'm actually gonna pull these two and throw that into our savings challenges. So that's $50. We had money in here, but we used it for Hatopia when we went. Um, then I think I'm going to do 30 in summer since that's what's coming up. So summer now has 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 65, 165. Basically, this would be like if we go to the beach, if we went to the lake, if we wanted to have a barbecue and I don't know, just summer fun and stuff like that. 
Um, let me go ahead. I'm going to add 10 to fall. I'm going to add 10 to the other ones. So now in fall, like Pumpkin Patch, if we go to Fright Fest, because we have passes to Six Flags Magic Mountain in Santa Clarita, and they have Fright Fest. So if we go, we can like purchase food or, you know, anything else they might want. So we have 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. And then if we go to the pumpkin patch, like usually I can use Halloween money for that if we have money left over because we save 500 for Halloween. But that covers costumes, gas, and eating out on that day because I know for sure we always eat out on that day. So I plan for that and anticipate that. Okay, winter, we're adding 10. So we have 20, 30, 40, 50, 65. So there's generally less in the, the seasons that are further out. Spring, we're going to go ahead and add 10 and get it started for next year. And then I want to say we have some in the kids section. So we're going to do graduation this time. And we are going to add 25. So I just did a 20 and a 5. So now in graduation, we have 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 140. So we still have um, a year before our oldest graduates. So um, like we have time, but this would just basically be anything that we would do for graduation. And then I'm going to go back to us because I added some to my husband's work clothes. We're adding 40. I'm confused why you're not coming out. Okay. 40. And so now we have 100, 20, 40, 55. 155. Perfect. And then let me look at my list because I'm a little confused. All right. So I figured out what I need to cash stuff and that's our pet binder so we're going to go ahead and hop into here we do have three categories we have food health and miscellaneous so let's just go ahead and get started there's no rhyme or reason necessarily to how I do this I just kind of gauge as to what I know we're going to need to purchase so I did just purchase food for them so I'm going to wind up having to pull this so I do want to kind of get ahead of the game so I'm going to go ahead and add another 20 to each of their envelopes I'm gonna do this into tens. So now they each have 40. Um, and I need to pull about 47 for the bag I just bought. And then cat food, I know we're good, but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna get like a head start. We're not ready to buy another bag, but I just wanna be prepared for even the bag following. So 20, 30, 40, 55, 60, 61, 2, 3, 4, 5, 65. So that's, this is really good, especially for their cat food. They're not like on a special diet, um, Raja and Phoenix. Coco is, but I'm already, I already cash stuffed this for this month. Chickens were good. I'm going to add to this one. I'm going to go ahead and add, I think I want to do 20, 20, 40, 60, 70, 85. We're not done building the rest of the, like the ponds that we, like we moved the koi pond out, we relined it, we made the turtle one, but where you saw the black liner on the edge, we're actually going to be making like a screen door to cover because we don't want any like predators or um, birds coming down and taking them. So I'm going to go to ahead and add 20 and we've been adding like lily pads. So I want to get more aquatic plants, um, flea prevention. Let me see, hold on really quick. I know I want to add at least 30 to treats and toys which will give us a total of 50 so let me add that I could have done that much nicer sorry guys um, but I had actually already filmed this and then realized that I didn't hit the record pet license I'm going to add 20 so that's going to give us 50. And what I did that you guys didn't see on camera was I pulled the little, like, the random $1 bills I had in here. If it didn't equal $5, if it was like a dollar, $3, I pulled it. Um, and it's going towards our savings challenges. And then flea prevention. Let's just go ahead and get a head start. And we'll add 20. Nope, we'll add 10. And I'll put 10 to vets. So 10, 20, 30. 
but we get like an eight month supply. So we're not gonna need this for a while, but we will add 10 to vet appointments, which will give us 120, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 220. So I had pulled a couple like three ones, I think from here. Um, and I'm just gonna put that towards savings challenges. All right, so that's it for the pet binder and for today's video. If you haven't already hit that subscribe button, I would really love it if you would join our community here and I'll catch you guys in the next video, bye.